So we're gonna show you guys how to change the bar and chain on the 5185 here. I just blew my tip out and uh, so I need to switch the bar and chain and I'll show you how easy it is, so. The tool that comes with the 5185 uh, bar saw head it's got a I think a 22 millimeter bolt nut on the end here and then uh, you stick it in here like that and I like to set the head up like this just so I'm not on, in the dirt or anything then there's a release button back here that you press and then there's a stop button right here to stop it stop it from coming forward I'll take this chain off here. I think I'll be switching chains too. It's pretty, pretty dull. So to take the bar off, I usually let this back out like that. And then you just take the nuts off the side, just like a normal chainsaw. I think they need to put a uh, like a ratchet end on the end of this. That would be nice. <clears throat> like a normal ratchet wrench. That would help a lot. This is the same nut that helps helps you get your lid off to put your bar oil in. <clears throat> that was smart that they uh, made it the same size here. Not a ton of room to work with right here, but it definitely uh, definitely enough. Just tighter than probably it could be. But they don't want sticks and rocks and everything else getting up in here, so they make it kind of tight here. Ratchet, ratchet wrench, I would have had that off already. Ah, what shit in the threads. Second nut. Wiggle the bar up like that. I just pull this off a little bit because all it does needs to is slide off there and these these keep your bar on and then that's your oiler um, one on each side so you can flip your bars probably need to take this bar home and straighten it out a little bit work it grind the edges off it and stuff anyway now I need a tip so on the bar make sure my what side my holes cleanest on? Put it on like that. Oh shit! There we go. nuts back on I didn't have to take them all the way off I haven't did it in a while so I forgot all you're doing is loosening that nut up enough 
so you can just slide get that bar over and then slide it off so you don't need to take it all the way off Pull your slack back again, put the chain on, grab a sharp chain, throw it over your chain catcher, onto your sprocket, onto your bar, and pull the slack back out of it. My bar nuts too tight. Some shit in the Some dirt in the uh, in the bar rail there. So, as easy as that, I guess. That went a little harder than I thought, but it's usually easier. But you don't always have to change the bar. I just blew a tip, so to pop a chain on and off, it's really quick. But uh, just wanted to show you guys. I gave this little toolbox here to uh, keep your bars and chains. So, that's where I keep my stuff. And uh, that's how you change the bar and chain on a 5185 Tiger Cat. Thanks for watching.